Good afternoon, everyone. This is my video on What Factors Shape Our Political Views by Stephen Bobrovsky for Michael Petrie's American Government class, fall semester of 2012. Enjoy. Everyone has political views, and we have built those from our early stages in life. But have you ever stopped to think about what factors influenced you to have your views? I know I have. This process in which individuals like you and I have come to have certain core beliefs and attitudes on politics is known as political socialization, and the sources or individuals and institutions that shape these are known as agents of socialization. With the 2012 elections drawing closer, it's time to take a moment to reflect on what has shaped your views. So when you step into that voting booth on election day, you know exactly what you're voting for and why. So many factors contribute to what shapes one's political views of being Democrat, Republican, Independent, Libertarian, etc. We tend to associate ourselves to these types of political parties based on our views and beliefs. Main factors. Many major common factors that shape, affect shaping one's political views are media, family, friends, gender, schools, religion, and race and ethnicity, and sometimes region. Media. Media plays such an important role in shaping one's political attitudes, probably the most out of all because we are constantly exposed to media, all day, every day. Media has been around for over 50 years, starting with the telegraph and newspapers. As technology advanced, media has grown exponentially. Main sources of media today are internet, television, social media, and the radio. Of course, there are many others. Internet. Internet is a very powerful tool for shaping attitudes. Most home pages when you start your browsers are loaded with current events related to politics, especially during campaigning, or the closer we get to election. This information is always readily available. The way we view this has a positive or negative influence on us. Social media. Social media has been on the rise in the past five years with many different outlets such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Majority of those using are the younger tech savvy generation as shown in the chart. With presidential elections, campaigns, taking to the internet, this has the potential to be rather influential. A younger generation uses these means of social media and networking constantly and when a peer gives their insight on a candidate or an issue, it has the potential to be highly influential. This slide shows an interesting fact. According to the Washington Post, a recent survey conducted, the Pew Internet surveyed nearly 2,300 adults and more than half on social networking sites used them for means of politics and 33% of users shared digital media related to politics. That's a very large portion of Americans who use these as a means of political insight. This can definitely affect the way we view issues or figures. Next is television. This is the second major source of influence. Majority of Americans watch TV at some point throughout the day. According to Nielsen Media, the average American watches 34 hours per week of TV in 2010. This chart shows that 67% of Americans use TV as their main source of campaign news. TV media has a substantial impact on what Americans perceive of politics. News channels such as CNN, Fox News, or MSNBC are just a few major channels as we as Americans view. Furthermore, Major cable networks such as HBO or Comedy Central have celebrity talk shows based around politics such as Bill Maher or even Glenn Beck can have large influences especially on younger people who view this mostly. Some of these shows also influence in a biased way and narrowing topics because they choose what stories to cover and only show one side to a story. An upside is it gives insight to what issues are current and it's up to the Americans to decide whether or not we want to look further in and form our own views based upon how it affects us. Family. Majority of children are exposed to politics at a very young age, whether that's sitting around a dinner table listening to parents talk or what they hear from outside family members. Exposure to this at a young age implants ideas in their heads and can change as they grow older. They develop their own thoughts and views on how issues in society can affect them personally, such as abortion and social programs. The more politically active a family is, the more likely we are to hold on and carry the early values. Friends and peers play a role in influencing us and in how we view politics because as the younger generation gets older, it's common for them to surround themselves with peers or friends that value the same beliefs as others. Example of this being focus or internet groups, interest groups in school or in clubs with others that share the same views on social and environmental issues like Greenpeace. According to the text, Struggle for Democracy, education is generally considered the strongest predictor of participation in politics. Individuals with an education tend to have more of a grasp on politics, current events, world issues, and are generally more likely to vote. 
Furthermore, statistics show that higher educated people tend to have more liberal views, favor social programs, help society, and are more protective of civil rights. This graph shows males and females political knowledge in relation to education level. Obviously, higher education shows more knowledge in this area. And lastly, religion has a very strong influence on influencing one's political attitudes. Most religions practice a strict set of rules. For this meaning, religious parties such as Catholics, Christians, or Protestants tend to lean their beliefs more towards cons conservative and Republican side than the Democratic side, whereas Jewish and Buddhist religions tend to lean more towards the Democratic Party with more liberal views. This is usually more prevalent in social and economic issues than just a party affiliation. By this I mean abortion, divorce, same-sex marriages, and economic and global issues. Here are two graphs I gathered to show a relation to political party by religion. This survey shows for 208 million Americans and it's separated by each religion. This survey was done in 2008 so I'm sure the percentages may be different now but this gives a general idea of classifications. In conclusion, we know that the main factors that influence and shape our political attitudes, media, friends, family, religion, and which are the most influential and how they can influence you. So remember that as your voting time draws closer. That completes my video. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.